Will you two just pick a leader already? Oh, hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Last time, we defeated the giant dust devil at the uh, Old Western Amusement Park, and then came down here to a spooky bayou at this spooky abandoned mansion full of spooky ghosts to figure out what is going on down here, and apparently there's also spooky undead walking around. Uh, but that, that doesn't need to be addressed right now. Instead, we, we decided to do a little bit of plumbing just so we could get up there to... The little, what would that be, deck? I, I guess it would be a deck. Because there's some gumbo. And you know Scooby and Shaggy, when it comes to food, all bets are off. And it got, like, super quiet here for a second. So, we we got the fountain here to the highest pressure. Uh, we got the key to the gate, so let's go over and get us some food, shall we? That was a very robotic, like, uh, wooden bridge. At least you got a taste. Shaggy. No, no, I'll be right there. Let's go, you creeps. This is for your own safety, miss. Intruder in the perimeter. Like run, Scoob. Look, it's one of them zombies. Huh. Must have gotten loose. Hi there. You're a fine looking doggy. Dog? Where? <laughs> Are you looking for someone, dog? We'll say we go find them. Hooray! We have Tom Kenny on our side! Also, Shaggy apparently has become a zombie. Oh well. I knew that gumbo was suspicious. One sip and you become undead. You go ahead, dog. I'll go another way. <laughs> Come on, let's go find your friend together. Alright, I'm gonna you go this way, I'm gonna go the other way. So yeah, here's something you probably didn't expect from a Scooby-Doo game. Um Metal Gear. So, basically, we have these mercenary guys who are in these patrol boats, uh, armed with totally not high-intensity plasma rifles that shoot blue-hot plasma! No, it's totally scare rifles that they just use to scare us. Yeah, totally not trying to murder us with hot plasma. It'd be nice if I remember how to dive. Um. Okay, it's our... As you can tell, it's been a couple of days since I played this last. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a little weird. It's like, I think we completely went off the rails. I mean, I know Scooby-Doo has had a couple of weird parts going into it. But the fact that Scooby is sneaking around in a bayou full of dog-eating gators and mercenaries armed with totally not plasma rifles, I think this is starting to get a little ridiculous. Also, I just love the fact, these guys just see a dog. Just a random dog. Okay, of course, a dog in a bayou would probably be a little suspicious, but these guys see a dog walking around. Let's murder it. Alligators, I can understand because they like to eat anything that moves. Oh, God, speaking of eating. And totally speaking of eating, I need to go over there and eat some Scooby Snacks. I went the wrong way. Now, the thing about the little stealth section here is... Oh god, I didn't even see that guy. I forgot that there are gators hiding here and you gotta sneak past them when they decide to go under- Oh, come on! Okay, I do actually like that Scooby was still wearing a Scooby gear. Now, that's a nice little touch. Alright, let's try this again. And you know what? Let's do this when the searchlight is not pointing at me. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, the alligators in the little uh, log mazes, 
uh, the only way you can get past them without getting too scared by them is to wait till they dive under, which, you know, screw being able to see where they are. When they dive under the water to, you know, hide, it, this thing gets way too aggressive way too fast. Uh, when it dives under the water to, you know, hide and camouflage itself, it's totally when it's really safe. Right, I'm gonna, he's surfacing again, so I'm going to wait till he dives back down. And make a swim for it. This time I'm gonna move back here. Yeah, he's not. I think I'm out of range of his attack. Wait till they dive back down. Head over here. Because on this little island, along with the Scooby Snacks and a save point for whatever reason, we got the shrimp. So that's two food items down, and I believe that's the only. How many food items do we need? Chicken. Pepper and the ketchup. I actually remember what it was this time. Mostly because in between recordings I did look it up. And I'm sure Future passed me whatever when the last video I had it. What that one like collectible was. But the only thing left to get in this little stealth section is the chicken. And there's I believe two clues hidden here. Go away please. My god, these gators are tenacious. I don't even know what was going on right there. Let's see, how many clues do we have? Yeah, there should be two clues. Maybe it was three clues that there was hidden in this. Because I do know there was a very no, no wait. How many clues do we need? One, two, two, three. Yeah, there's two clues hidden here. And I should know this because in doing the research for all the clues and all the food and stuff, uh, one of the clues is automatically given to us, which thank you for game. But one of the clues is hidden in such a horrible section, and it's so mean, and so, 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 so something, that I may hate it a bit more than the minecart section. Those who played the game probably know what it is, and those who played the game probably know why it's worse than the minecart section. Just gonna have to inch our way over. I'm gonna get spotted. Oh! That wasn't even close to me. I do love that these guys immediately lose pursuit of you the second you dive under. It's like, yeah, he totally won't just resurface right there or in the vicinity. He must have gone to the other side of the bayou by now. Alright. Uh, I think that truck also drops dudes off if it spots you. Or maybe it just damages you when you get too close to it. Whatever reason, we have made it to another land section, and also Tom Kenny is now accompanying us. And I do believe that this is the area where we get introduced into the new enemies. I'd say new, but they did like tease them a little bit at the beginning of the of the chapter. There's nothing we can do to get past that checkpoint. I mean, I guess Scooby could like squeeze underneath it. Scooby Snacks over there. There's the dude walking over there, which means I probably don't want to go to that place. Uh, I feel like I'm on Endor right now. Where, where's the little Ewoks? Where are the little guys? I could totally use their help. Also, I can't go that way. I gotta go to the way where the guard is. This is not a good sign. I don't. Oh god, there he is! Oh god, he's on my ass. Ah, shoot. You know what he was trying so hard not to say. Uh-oh. Thankfully, these guys are horrible shots. Of course, I say they're horrible shots, but in, like, back when the first swimming section, they nailed me almost every time they spotted me. I do remember there, there was a clue in one of these sections right here. See, that was just a safe spot. Why oh, that thing is following me? Nothing over there. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to the Scooby Snacks that were up in the little tree fort area. Ah, there they are! The newest enemy! Zombies! Uh, these guys? Pretty annoying, but also- Oh god! Um... 
Hello? Oh yeah, these guys do actually drop dudes off. Makes sense, it's a transport truck and all. Ah, there's the clue I was thinking of. Get over here and grab it. We found letters. And we need to find a way to get over to where those zombies are, which sounds like a horrible idea, in theory, but it's the only way through. Oh god, that's a checkpoint. I am horrible at stealth sections. Which makes sense why I'm no good at Metal Gear games. Even though I try to do, like, full stealth playthroughs when it comes to, like, games like that. Oh, hi. Wrong way! Don't mind me, just going this way. You, you, you can use the... You can shoot at Tom Kenny while you're at it. Alright, this seems like the right way to go down. And before anyone asks, no, you, you can't switch characters with him. I don't know why they just made him a follower and not just, you know, have you go on this at your own and just had him, like, separate from you. But whatever. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Mind them gators, dog. Them treacherous. Hello, <laughs> and then Tom Kenny got eaten by the, by the zombies. Oh, wow, he is right on me. Like, literal jumping right into the pool, and already I'm getting harassed. It's a good thing it's not that far of a swim. I do believe that there's nothing left to get. That's the camera that I was thinking of. I thought that was a clue, but no. I think I collected everything there, and if I didn't, then I'm going to cry. I do believe, though, that the last clue is actually in a really mean section because it's in a little maze area, and I believe that this is the right part for it. We just need to keep our eye out for a log maze. Kinda like what a shrimp is, only bigger. It's just Scooby Snack. Oh, or it could just be right here on this little island. We found a book. Well, why is it doing on this rinky-dink little island? I will never know. Oh, this was the maze I was thinking of, but I thought there was, it was just for an optional thing, like one of the food or clues. And you can kindly G GTFO. Now, which way is the way to get in here? This way. Of course, there's an alligator, so what do we do? We swim over the alligator, because that's the intelligent thing to do. Yeah, totally. Just go jump into a bayou if you see an, an alligator go under the surface. It's totally not going to attack you. Take it from me. As you can see right here, and totally not fabricated. Man, these gator placements suck. Alright, this time I'm going to play it safe. Any gators, any gators. Doesn't look like it. There's a gator right there. So I'll wait for him to surface and then go back under. And then we'll sneak fast. And go. I could totally go for some Scooby Snacks right about now. And of course I had to go over to Gaver. Ah, uh, over to Gator to get out of here and go past another Gator. Three Gators, four Gators, ten Gators, all the Gators. I gotta go through past every Gator in this bayou. All right, yeah, surface so I can sneak past you. Thank you. Oh, when you decide to take a dive, well, thank you very much. But I'm gonna take a dive right here. I swear if the gator behind me attacks me or the gator over here attacks me, I'm going to be angry. I'm angry! And I've got to do this whole section again. Great! Uh, I'll see you when I get out of this log maze hell. And we are 
out of here and with a lot more health than we had last time. Now all we have is another swarm of gators, which one is coming right at me. And more patrol boats, although I would... <sighs> Go away, jeez. Man, who knew Florida gators were so aggressive? Or Would this be Florida or would this be Louisi Louisiana? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm from neither. I've been to neither, so I wouldn't know this is more of a Florida scene or a Louisiana scene. And looks like we are near the end. We just need to get past these two patrol boats, and then we should be home free. Thankfully, the arcs for their searchlights and the fact that these guys are nearsighted helps. I feel like they should have, they probably should have planted like one more patrol boat right here if they wanted to add a challenge, but they may have probably, they probably tossed around the idea, but thought it was too much of a challenge for players. create a diversion, and I let him out of that zombie cave. What? Don't tell me you're a scaredy cat. Here, I'll give you a nice doggy biscuit if you do it. Who is that? Okay. Now go and keep them soldier fellas away from that there cave. Oh yeah, just let me distract these armed guards with, armed with plasma rifles with my body. Also, is that guy dead over there? Oh, no way, that's just a pile of wood. I thought there was, like, a dead body over here. It's just, like, laying arms spread out. Hey, guys, how's it going? I'm just a dog. Now, one of the food items is actually hidden here, and you need to be a little fast because by the time that's done, if you miss this food item, you're going to have to replay the whole chapter unless you saved. I think I might have missed the food item. It's in one of the tents. Might be through here. Or that just might be a way to shake off pursuers. Where the hell is that food item at? I'm starting to get a little worried because we only have 10, 20 seconds to find the food. It's not there. Hello, my name is Scooby. I would like to find some food, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Ah, there it is. Chicken! Wow, you guys are such horrible aims. Like, literally, I was dancing around you guys, and you could not hit me! I suggest you come out now. The zombies! They're escaping! Why, thanks for saving me! My name's Billy Bob, sir. Now, don't worry, I got me a getaway vehicle just round the bend. A getaway vehicle? More like a giveaway vehicle! So wait, he showed up, and we were like this close to the encampment, but we had to do this whole roundabout thing to get into the encamp- My brain hurts. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, make the worst minigame in this entire game. If you thought that the minecart sucked, well, you're gonna have to love this, or hate it. Uh, because not only is there, you know, stuff we have to do, we gotta jump, we got the- I believe that there's a duck button? Uh, I don't know. Who cares? They'll probably show it. Um, but we also have to watch a fuel gauge on the top, so we need to keep constantly picking up fuel cans or we fail. Um, other thing that you hate is you fall into the water like that, also insta-fail. Other, other thing that you're going to hate is the fact that there are three collectibles in this, and if you fail this, unlike the, the minecart, you can't replay it again, so you'll have to redo the entire chapter unless you had a save, which... Thankfully, I did have a save as a contingency plan in between me dying to the gators and me uh, having a successful run. But there's two food items and a clue hidden here. Thankfully, there's none hidden at the first part, but they are hidden in the second part, and we were right at the end. You are going to totally learn to hate this minigame. And the fact that it starts out in, like, pitch black darkness, and you need to navigate your way through narrow narrow passages and catwalks and 
I guess we, would these be considered catwalks or, or would they be considered docks because they're all plankish and stuff? But whatever. You need to navigate through here and not fall into the water. Now it actually does get a little bit lighter as you progress through this, so there's a little bit of a leeway. However, it's no excuse. Right to the checkpoint. And jump over obstacles. And you insta fail if you hit the checkpoint. Or hit the obstacle. Excuse me, I wanted to go that way, thank you. Input for the for the ducking's a little off. It feels like there's like a, a second or second and a half delay between pressing the button and, you know, wow. Even if you go at the course, you you crash. Hope you're ready for Mark or 2.0. And I went the wrong way again. Just want to see what's on that side, just to make sure I did not miss uh, the clue or whatever. I want to be careful when going through here, but the thing is, you also kind of want to play a little... Avoid hitting alligators. Um, you kind of want to play pl fast and loose with a s with some areas because if you... Two of the things require you to jump high and be precise with your jumping. Oh, went the wrong way! And the audience is going to ridicule me every single time. I'll see you when I get back to those docks. Alright, we finally made it back to this little section. I'm gonna take a right this time. Oh god, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, maybe not. I cleared it. Should be getting close to the end, though. Yep, there's the torches, which means... We are in a new area, and I believe this is where a majority of the clues and food items are. Yeah, I think I see one right up there. No way, that's just gas. Did I go the wrong way? Well, I did now. be really nice if it would actually get lighter out so I can see where I'm going here. Don't wait! This section sucks! Especially if you're collecting stuff. I can't see! I can barely see that little plank thing. Oh, thread the needle! Uh, I say we follow the gas. It was a bad idea! Oh, come on, I made it! Thread the needle. Thread the needle again. Oh, thank goodness it's finally starting to get light. Alright, should be... Yeah, checkpoint. Alright, we need to not go straight. I think it would... You ran out of fuel. You will slow down and stop. At this point, I think we've outrun the mercenary guys. Do we really need this cart now? This little motorcycle thing? for a jump. Do 
ma mai There's one of the clues. Wow, they expect you to go really fast to get that clue. The left. And I missed the clue again. Oh, come on! This clue sucks. Oh, this is going to be the entire video, isn't it? I just want this clue to be done with it. Yes! We got one of the plasma rifles! Alright, so long as I don't choke again, duck, avoid that, get to the checkpoint, yes! I said we take a left. Oh, that clue is hell in a shell to get. Ow. I want to... I got eaten by a gator. Nice and easy. Don't want to fail again. Oh god. I'm happy I got that clue, but that also means one thing. I missed the food items. I gotta replay this segment again to find them in a bonus video. At least I got the food. At least I got the clue, not the food. Oh god! Of course, that leads to it. That is a beginner's trap if ever there was one. 
Like, there, there's no hint until it's, like, too late, and by then you got an alligator chomping at your heels. And pits. This minigame's the pits. Oh, wait, that was... That was... Wait, that was the food? Um... Hello? Oh my god. That was that was one of the food items. That, so I didn't miss it? I thought I did. Whatever. We got the hot peppers. I'm okay with it. Which means there might still be a chance. Alright, now we just need to... I believe it was past the hot peppers. We need to find a fork in the road. Take a left. And there it is. Take the left here. Well, there's no reason to take a right. We'll die if we take a right. God, he's sounding so much like SpongeBob right now. Alright. Duck. It said to take a left and go up a slope. I believe it was take a left again. Jump over some logs in the road. Is that it? Yep, there's the ketchup. Alright. Line this up right! And completely with the ketchup. Okay, so you don't even need to jump if you're just fast enough and be sure not to hit the log on the road. You can actually just drive right into the ketchup. Alright, all the clues, all the food items have been collected. Let's just get the hell out of here. I'm not having fun anymore. Ow. Wow, that is that is horrible texture. Wow, that's like PS1 era graphics. Checkpoint. Left. Let's be done with this already. Man, how deep is this bayou? Oh, that is... <sighs> Thankfully, there's just... We got that checkpoint. That is mean. That is super mean. I, I should not have made that with... The horrible hit detection when it comes to the jumping on those things. I should not have made that. I used to live on a farm here, but then them walking dead fellers started showing up, so I had to vacate them premises. But it'll take more than zombies or them greenwood suits to make me go. Did you say greenwood? Sure did. Them's the fellers who bought this land. They also be catching them zombies and sending them away in big old army trucks. Anyone for some sandwiches? Sure! Yeah! <laughs> Hello? Huh? Anyone here? Guys, I finally found you! This is bad. Zombies have attacked the army trucks and Daphne and Fred are in danger! But like we haven't found the Tome of Doom page for zombies yet! Do you mean like this one? Like exactly like this one! I found it in one of them trucks. Great. Let's go save the others. Ooh. Help! Ooh. Get us out of here! So those zombies are more than you can handle, huh? What the? Who the heck are you? We're Mystery Inc. Private Shaggy? That's me! Get these zombies out of my sight! Oh, thank God that that fucking piece of shit motorized endurance test on my patience is over. So we gotta go save Fred and Velma from Fred and Velma, Fred and Daphne from the zombies. But first things first, let's go over the clues that we got. I already went. 
No, actually, no. We haven't uh, gone over all the clues because we have. This is the first time we've run into Velma. Some kind of large truck stops here. There's lots of footprints around, as if they loaded it up with something. Gee, it's all. They, they should like. They totally should have put Velma like earlier, like maybe at the mansion or something, because we already know what's going on with the tracks and stuff. How about the letter? The back of the postcard says it's from Florida. Someone must have brought it over here. Alright, so we're not in Florida. We must be in, like, Louisiana or something. How about a book? It's a book titled Undead for Newbies. Looks as if someone wanted to know more about zombies. Interesting. How about this plasma rifle? This is a strange-looking device. Seems it was made by a company called Sherman Tech. Unfortunately, it's not working anymore. Looks like a super soaker of some sorts. You're never some Bugs Bunny like contraption. Oh, we haven't ever gotten these clues. What are these development documents? Wow! According to these documents, Greenwood Development is in fact owned by Sherman Tech. All right. Well, that, that's more clues that we got in this chapter than we did in last chapter. That's for sure. And that I mean, actual clues that were you know helpful. All right, so the zombies, they are somewhat annoying. They got a lot of health, but they kind of strong, they, and they got that breath attack. Okay, maybe I was wrong about the health, but they are, they do like to move around a lot, and they got that breath attack that we do need to avoid at all costs. For some reason that this truck is just filled with wisps. But oh god. Uh, the other thing is that they do like to swarm you a lot, and they aren't afraid of the Tome of Doom when you open it. Excuse me, sir. Something I do actually find a little funny is that, like, the, the women zombies, they're, they're running around and they, instead of, like, trying to eat you alive, they're gonna, they just come up and smack you with a rolling pin. But I do drain a lot of energy from the Tome of Doom, that's for sure. Uh, that's the zombie over there. Uh, I'll go grab the guy over here. Or the girl, I guess. Oh, no, wait, there is a guy over here. There's like three di zombies are the most variant enemies ever because there's like different versions of them. There's like the the ones with like the farmers hats that uh, like swing their arm, their like this dismembered arm at you. There's the female ones that smack you with a rolling pin, and there's just these like I don't even know what these guys are supposed to be dressed up as. I, at first, I thought they were like Confederate soldiers from like the Civil War or something. Alright, meet the boss of this chapter. This is just a giant zombie, that's it. He's got a lot of health though, and I'm sad this, that the Scooby Snacks that Velma threw down have gone away. Nope, wait, there's some. Thank you, Velma. I'll come back if I need any more, but right now what I need most of are the wisps. Alright, now let's capture the big guy. I believe he has more than just one attack. I think he has like a ground pound attack and a... Uh, the breath attack like all zombies do. And the fact that the earth shakes just every time... Okay, his breath attack is much larger than the ones of the normal zombies, that's for sure. Yeah, he just, like, makes these, like, loud rumbling sounds. As a kid, this guy actually kind of scared me a bit with just how big he was. And how much, like, punishment he deals, man. Don't need to tell me twice, throw down some snacks! Velma? Also, the sounds he made was kind of creepy when I was a kid. He sounds like Lurch from the Adams Family. Alright, one bar of health left. We should be able to capture him after we collect these little wisps over here. Two, three, four, five. That should be enough. I think we might have full energy now. Okay, okay, big guy. It's time for you to go back in the book. Uh-oh. Nope, oh, gotcha. Thanks, son. You took care of those critters like a real trooper. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get these trespassers to the local authorities. What? Why, you can't do that. Are you questioning my orders? Give me 20 on the double. 
You too, mister! I'm afraid you've got it all wrong, sir. What? We're investigators. Sir, why is the army trying to cover up a creepy case of zombies? <laughs> Hold your horses, ma'am. The military ain't involved in this at all. Master Sergeant Jeremy Rose, retired from the service. Me and my old buddies were hired by Greenwood Development to clear out this area before it was sold to Sherman Tech. Great. Jinkies. According to my notes, Greenwood Development is owned by Sherman Tech. What? So they've been selling land to themselves. After scaring away the owners. Now wait just one minute. Are you saying there's foul play involved? <laughs> you bet. And we've got the proof. Well, I'll be. All right. Come over here. <laughs> we bring the zombies here. Sherman Tech headquarters? Now you do me a favor. Get those Greenwood lowlifes for me. Will do. Come on, gang. Let's go. Good luck, y'all. Bye, Willie Rob. Yeah, like, bye. Did I tell you to stop, soldiers? Give me another 20, or I'll have you put on latrine duty. What? <laughs> wow, this game predicted Shaggy would join the army. Only took up till Mystery Inc. to actually show it. Alright, two, three, four, five clues! I never have to play this chapter again! One, two, three, four, five! I never have to play that horrible motorcycle minigame again! Why do I feel dead inside? Alright, Bayou River Part 2. I'm gonna save over you, and I cannot believe I just rhymed again. And I never have to endure that hell ever again. Oh man, not only is there terror going on, but it's high-tech terror! The worst kind! So now we know that Sherman Tech is behind all of this, but why? According to my research, Sherman Tech is using all of that land to build giant antennas. I wonder what they could be for. Well, there's only one place we'll find the answer to that. Sherman Tech Headquarters. I've already called Sherman Tech and arranged for us to get on a tour of their facilities. While Freddy, Daphne, and I are taking the tour, Shaggy and Scooby will sneak off and look for... The Rattler's area? No, clues. Specifically, clues about antennas. Like there could be antennas in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to Sherman Tech. Do you think we'll be able to meet Mr. Sherman? Uh, Mr. Sherman is a busy man. No, no, not that busy. Mr. Sherman, it's an honor. May I introduce my chief scientific officer, Selena Grace? We're currently working on some exciting new technology. Perhaps you'd like to see it? Of course! Especially if it involves low-frequency electromagnetic waves. Yes, they're our favorite. <clears throat> well... Why don't we start? All right, you two. Now try to find as many clues as you can. So does the tour come with, like, its own patented lab coat? Like, can you get those at the gift shop? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's probably where we're going to end it off here. We did a very annoying chapter, and I died more inside than I did when I did the minecart minigame. Uh, we beat a boss, we beat a whole chapter, we got all the food, we got all the clues. Next time on Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, we are going to explore Sherman Tech Headquarters to see if we can uncover what has been going on, why they've been linked to all these, like, antennas and all the monsters that we've been capturing. And who knows, maybe we'll finally be at the very end of this game. Shaggy, what were you doing? You were, like, electric sliding all over the place. Oh, whatever. See you guys next time. Later.